All right, so I'm going to go into the next ability, which is Catalytic Renewal. <sighs> I don't even know what to tell you. So Catalytic Renewal, <laughs> almost all the heals in my, in my mind are like either medium or hard to use. And it's a really simple reason why. It's the amount of damage everything in this game does compared to the amount of health that you get back from healing from healing um, items. And another thing is, if you ever played games like Vainglory, when you use your flask, you got fortified health. So what happens is once the health comes on and you start healing, you are given... Uh, a small shield on your health that allowed you to take some damage while you're healing. None of the healing in Catalyst Black works that way. <laughs> when a healing works that way, it's called a shield. <laughs> but every one of these heals needs a small shield in front of them. It doesn't have to be something crazy like 50 percent or all the heal goes like that but maybe 10 percent of that heal should be fortified so when something hits you some of the damage is absorbed by the shielding and then the healing can go on because none of the heals basically work to the point where you'll survive if you're on a if you're straight up being attacked something jumps on you you're dead you're being shot by a renegade or something with high damage per second you're dead you hit the heal to survive in a situation and you're trying to roll or move, there are two people around you, you're dead. You, you really do not survive. You, you activate the heal and die. Like that's literally what happens like 90% of the time. So in reality, catalytic renewal, you're supposed to be getting, they, they bumped it up to, to in the hundreds before it was like 50s and 60s and it's still not enough or it was 100 and something they got doubled the amount it's still not enough it's still not helping you're still dying it doesn't work <laughs> so calic renewal for me is a hard because i've tried it in games and the only way these this thing works you take a lot of damage you roll away and then you press it or you see one of your teammates is low and you press it and you hope that it'll heal fast enough before they get hit by two more bullets and die because that's how much damage is literally done all the time in this game. Supposedly, I'm going to hit over almost 1,000 to 2,000 in my healing, or 1,500, 1,800 in my healing after five seconds. But will I survive three more seconds after the first two? Not necessarily. So hard. It is super hard. Like, the only way I can see it if you're not going to fortify the health, you're going to have to increase it. This is still not enough. Because I tried it just to test to see, okay, this, they buffed them. Let me try. Man, I died and died and died and died. The only benefit is it's a seeker item. <laughs> it's banner seeker. That's it. And seeker is like a busted banner that I have no idea why it hasn't been nerfed. They have nerfed Primalist out to... To, they took Primalist's usefulness and just like nerf, nerf, nerf. Like this last build, they added a buff to it to give you another way to cool stuff down. But they've nerfed Primalist into the ground where like the benefit of having it, it's eh, it's okay. Using Seeker, Seeker does what Primalist used to do and Seeker's been like this since 0.02. It's disgusting. You get the Northern Warmth and you have four Seeker items you're like a god. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. And here's why. It's one of the trinkets that really messes everything up. One of the trinkets gives you almost 40% more, what do you call it, charge per pickup soon as you get it. And it's also a secret item. So 40 plus 20 is 60. If you get that thing to level 5, you're literally at 70 with one item. Come on, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Only benefit it has, it's a secret item. That's it. Healing, not so much. Super hard to use. 
if you're going to try to use catalytic renewal to support your team, it's not really going to work. Like, the way it works is you just got out of a fight, you got hit real bad, you press it, and you go running off into the distance so you can actually get your health back, and it boosts the normal health regeneration stuff that's happening. So that's literally the only way you can use it. So what's the point exactly? I'm not sure. So hard. No good. <laughs> so next one. A leap attack. Whew. A leap attack. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Leap Attack used to be phenomenal. It used to be one of the best. It used to be fun. It used to be a solid medium. It was a solid medium in point oh two, And then they nerfed it into Oblivion. And it's just not anymore. Like, no one uses it. There was another stat that made Leap Attack really cool. So I'm going to show you Leap Attack. So Leap Attack max health right now is... Um, for me, anyway, it's 254. About two patches ago, it was one of the strongest healths, max healths out of all of the items. Because those people who were using it left and right, they're like, leave attack, got the strongest one. And it was like at like three or, it was like maybe 400. At this level, I think mine was at 400 and something. So they nerfed that. They, they The max health that you got from it. Then the charge time of Leap Attack used to be 9.2. And I'm going to tell you, it felt like an eternity after you used it. If you were trying to get away from somebody, you hit the Leap Attack and you're like, damn, I need it again. You're, you're juking, you're moving. You're like, I need the Leap Attack one more time to get away. You would die with like a second and a half. I mean, a, a sec, 1.2 seconds left before you'd get it back. You'd be like, damn it. If only the cooldown was shorter. I would have survived that one. But notice, notice it's charge time now. It's higher. They made it higher, not less. <laughs> Leap attack has another problem. Leap attack is, you can't use it while you're carrying a flag. So one of your best assets to be able to dodge in mobility is completely removed once you hold the flag in Flag Hunter or you hold the flag and capture the flag. Hey, it's been like that and then you watch somebody using temporal rush <laughs> you get incensed so the rule we keep saying is when you have like super mobile um movement abilities it's either you let them all work with the flag or you had none of them work with the flag so what you can't go through items in with temporal rush it's still disgustingly, you score so many points. People could be running at the flag with you. Your temper rush is ready to go. You're six meters away. They're less than a foot away. You're still going to score. Or they're less than a meter away. You're still going to beat them. <laughs> Come on. Like, doesn't even make sense. Then, if you thought that was bad, they have the damage. Don't care. But the only problem with the damage was leap attack, you needed to land on your opponents to kill them. They used to have this really cool f um, feature in point oh two. If you were leaping across somebody and they were under your arc of your leap and it's close to where you're going to land, it looked like you kicked them in the head and landed and they died. It used to be awesome source. It was like one of the coolest things. The leap used to also look like it was arcing like a shot from one of the from one of the mortars. It would arc really high and you would land. It looked great. Even if I even when they took away the ability to kill people like if you were flying by them, the 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 motion and the way it moved felt really good. So it was really fun to use. Then they changed the animation. And ever since they changed the animation, a leap attack is like super hard for me to use because I can't for some bizarre reason, my mind can't process that flat arc that they gave it to get to where it's going to go. And it just bothers my mind. So I can't land it the way I want. <laughs> and I just don't like using it. So, and then they, they shorten the range. So it's the, funny, the funny thing I found out is the cast range and the charge time got flipped. They used to be reversed. So the charge time used to be 9.2, which was still too long, which leap attack should be around like an 8.2. 4, 8.5, 8 point something. 
not a 10. The funny thing is, if you watch people play Leap Attack, play against it, play with it, it ain't a boon. <laughs> I am not worried when people use Leap Attack against me. I'm not even scared. They leap at me, I kill them. <laughs> Whatever. It's just not... It's just not anything. It's nothing to be afraid of. It's not something that's going to change your game so much that you're going to kick butt. It's not. To me, it, it's, it's in hard because the only way I can see Leap Attack getting to a medium, shorter charge time, I would love for its range to be increased. And I'm not even talking about a 9.2. It needs to be below 9 or 9 on the nose.